At what age did you, um, what made you want to pick up a camera to begin with to even start shooting visuals? Um, so when I was at, um, I went to Opponents, which you, most people know it now, but you know, it's like the new Patterson or whatever. So they got like different careers and I went with Ready on TV. Mm-hmm. And that's when I had learned like the baseline of like editing, like, um, just like promo videos at that time. It was just promo videos. Okay. And then we also had like a radio station. So I know how to do like ads and stuff like that too. And I went on radio every day at like 4.30 for like a jazz station. And this one, I was like a sophomore. Jazz? Yeah, it was jazz. So what you did, you like a radio Keith. personality? And you yeah. Put, like, and and my name was Keys. It's funny. Like, cause I kept that same thing going. My name was Keys at that time. Um, like I learned how to program a radio station and all that. Like it was crazy. I ain't even, I'm just now thinking about that. That's crazy. That's crazy. But, that um, we've never discussed this before. Yes, I know. Um, but I became a director, uh, for the radio and TV station for, um, day in public. So I, um, recorded football games and That's stuff dope. like that too. That's dope. Um, so from there I picked, I picked up a camera in high school still. Um, it's kind of crazy cause me and yellow paint. Back then, he was called Lieutenant, but me and Yellow Pain, we was real close, and um, we used to exchange cameras all the time, and I remember him, like, showing me how to edit videos, and I could, like, pump out, like, I'm talking about two videos a day off of what he showed me, for sure. Um, And just when I got out to shooting videos, like, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of just went up from there. Like, people were just reaching out to me, like, nah, we need you to work with us, and da-da-da-da. And I think the only one I actually settled for was 3TE. 3TE was my first um, group I actually settled for, and I was like... I like it here. It was a good vibe. You feel me? We got along well. And, you know, things happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like it was a good part of my foundation for sure. Um, and then from there, I'm telling you, it's just a long, it's a long history. Hey, we here it, for it. It's a long history. We like, here for it. Um, Today from, I got time, cuz. <laughs> from there, like, I shot so many videos. Like, um, like I said, I shot for... Um, one of my biggest ones, I'm telling you, like, Bank Rose Talk to him. People don't know I shot that. Like, I posted it not so long ago. I was, uh, was going to ask you about that. <laughs> people don't people know. Still, people still, they still don't know. Like, they'll be like, they'll be hit. like. That's mm-hmm. crazy. We just asked, we sat here and asked what song to be played. <laughs> I'm weak. And you ain't come up with nothing. Listen. And then ran and down then her ran down the whole <laughs> list of You know, Yellow Pain and Blender Boy started Black their career, and, like. <laughs> it'd be crazy don't it yeah so like it's crazy because people be like i'm a nurse too so i'm a nurse too that's like my full-time job okay so i'm a nurse and Hold i'm a- real quick key let me hear all right go ahead continue i'm sorry i'm a nurse and uh um, say real nurse not like a uh uh, an uh, uh, A or nothing nah, like that. Nah, for real, like, I'm a real not, nurse like, for sure. I went to school for it. Let's do it that yeah. way. I went to R-N. school. For, I graduated, etc. Um, and um, when I'm at work, I go across people and they be like, they will look at videos and they'd be like, I wonder, you know, be looking at. I'm like, I shot that, and they be like, what? I'm like, I shot that. Like, I'm not just a nurse for real. Like, I do a lot of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. and they go look on my page, look up stuff, and they be like, bro, who are you for real? Because I never crossed it to. I just now started to have to cross it to where it's like undeniable, mm-hmm. like. Nah, we know. We know what you're up to. Like, you feel me? I wear my mm-hmm. brand to work and all types of stuff. So it's getting to a point now where it's just like, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes it's just overwhelming. You need to pop in that motherfucker with some uh some black billionaire scrubs. I know. I've been thinking about <laughs> starting scrubs. You don't even know. I've been thinking about starting scrubs for sure. Cause <clears throat> I've been thinking about that. For your sure. own, you know yeah, for black sure. Billionaire scrubs. For sure. And I've been thinking about that. So So um what? 3T was your first group. Mm-hmm. Shout out to 3TE. Yeah, that's crazy. Who that's was a part way of that? back in the Who was day. A part of that? You got to do the list. You got to do the list. Man, you had me. I wasn't even there that long, but you had me. You had Dre Cash. You had Day Day. You had Blender Black before he found a blender. Mm-hmm. Um, Lil Natty. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Guap three times. It was uh, it was a lot of motherfuckers over there for real. Uh, easy, mm-hmm. hmm. little uh, easy. Um, she do uh graphic design and shit like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. I think she was the last person holding that flag in the air to still for go sure. hard for that. For sure. <laughs> um, so at, what was after you? Uh, would you call yourself a freelance videographer? Mm-hmm. Like where you was just shooting for everybody? Yeah, I was just shooting for everybody. Um, once I started, um. Being with like 3T, I still shot with other people too. Um, like I said, Lil Eric and Bankroll and them, I'm telling you, they went crazy for a little minute. Like 
they kept me under their arm. Like every every day, they like let's shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of my catalog come from them for sure. And then like from there, I ain't gonna lie, life happens. Life happens in everybody's lives. You feel me? Life happens. And then um, once I got back to it, um, I linked up with Cash. Me and Cash um, most definitely started doing business together. And um, along that line, when me and him kind of fell mm-hmm. off, he linked up with Nino, and we got together as a. I don't even know where to go with that three head dragons. I don't even know. Like, but from there it was just it was it was a beautiful thing for sure. Beautiful. I don't even want to toot my own horn. <laughs> I don't even want to get into my. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You're a part of this. You're a... <laughs> okay, man. You are being too humble, Key. I mean, I know, no, I but was... listen. We, we, LeBrain James. We formed uh, a Titan group, mm-hmm. a motherfucking. Uh, a three-headed, uh, you said dragon, I'm going to say goat See, listen. type of situation out of State Solid Universal. Uh, fuck it, I'm going to say it. I'm going to look at Yego when I say it, man. I was part of one half for the <laughs> greatest rap group to come out of Dayton. <laughs> he did. Undeniably. Unfuckwittable, the Mud Bros. Uh... uh. <laughs> <laughs> my brother um, you know I'm supposed to pop my shit nah but for real that was a um, a highlight moment in music for me it because really I feel like that's where um, I got my wings that crumble whoopee mm-hmm. <laughs> that's where, but that's where I feel like I gained my wings at as an artist for real I had already had a whole bunch of situations going on but when I got to stay solid, I felt like that's where I um, I elevated myself as an artist. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was a lot of oh man, it was a lot of work. Like we really went through like real label stuff. Like we used to have to have meetings because we would be like at our our heights. Like all right, now nah, we need to call a meeting because it's gonna get real if we don't call a meeting. We need to figure out who's supposed to be in what position because we don't call this meeting. It's gonna get real. You know what I'm saying? So we had like it was crazy around that time. Like. I don't like to toot my own horn with nothing, but I I told them boys, like, they always got to be cocky because, shoot. I ain't going to lie. Like, me when I first, let me see, the first time I met y'all was, like, 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. And I ain't going to, y'all was punching. Y'all was punching. Y'all had a nice little, like, then y'all had came out with the Stay Solid Saturday shits. <laughs> so when y'all had, y- y'all definitely had some little, mo- mm-hmm. some like momentum going on. I ain't gonna, I think to me, being a local artist, 26, like that little era, fifth, like 14 to 17 or whatever, I was gone. Artist? I was gone after that. Shut up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, we need a button for that. <laughs> but, we need a button for that every time you do that. As a, as a, I said, as a local artist. Same different. The same, whatever, nigga. <laughs> Them semantics. He got whatever. this thing Any, where, Anywho. All right, go ahead. The whole, I'm saying, at that time, though, I think that's, we. That to me, the city was really like the lavish because there was a lot of shit going on. Everybody had a lot of shit going on, and it was always some shows. Rather, we was interacting with motherfuckers in Cincinnati mm-hmm. or... We was everybody. It was always some every weekend. See, that's kind of hard to gauge though because we don't have. It some, ain't the same no more. We don't have some classic music moments that we before we even came on the scene. Like I'm not saying I'm saying, but uh, I'm saying us actually being involved. I ain't talking about us being on the outside looking in. We okay. actually in the we actually in the mix. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We the, it was lit. That then. Nino era was, was that shit him. was lit. Eerie. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, it was like I said, it was a it was a good time though for sure. Like we still all still getting our feelings, like looking back at stuff like that, like, dang, like why didn't we just keep going? Like for sure, like we was on the road. Why didn't y'all just keep going? Listen, mm. it's so much stuff. We still don't know. Talk we still about don't it. know. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. <coughs> I'm gonna be honest today. Well, we, be honest, we, why we didn't still, y'all keep we, going? We still don't know. We still don't. I know. still try to figure it out. You got you got an answer. Mm, he's trying to, he trying Le- to act like he don't hear us, bro. Like, LeBrain. good at LeBrain. Is Bronny yeah, good enough to there, get drafted? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Never. All right. What happened? What happened? So I feel like 
we let our situation get way bigger mm-hmm. than the people in it, if that make any sense. Like, absolutely. We should have left it at, um, we should have left it, like, we started to expand too much. Like, we start just picking people and just bringing them into the to where it was like seven, eight, nine of us. It wasn't yeah, exclusive. Everybody wanted a piece, so we just like, come on. On some NWO yeah, shit, bro. We oversaturated you what we come was on. doing. Mm-hmm. And, and couldn't compensate to who you, what you had. But not only not that, that, but then egos start to yeah. everybody think play a Hulk. part in it. You everybody feel me? think that Hulk ego. Hogan when somebody got to be Scott, um, Scott Hall you got and it. somebody got to be Kevin Nash and somebody got to play their position. Everybody can't be Hulk everybody Hogan Everybody right can't now. be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I think I think that's a good wrap up for sure. And like I said, like beyond See, like even that. with hey, I'm good. even it's, beyond it's like tough. what he said, like yeah, uh, it's deeper than just that though. Like we still got some stuff that, you know, people need to sit down and talk about. And I Ooh. feel like that it mm. will get back there. I Talk mean, the mud brother. They, but, I, but we gonna get there because we getting closer and we getting there. You feel me for sure. Um, oh, bro and cash. Yeah. Mm. So, um, because of the bottom line is like, if we wanted to start this back up, it'd be yeah, right. it'd be crazy. Cause Key says so, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> that's the bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just don't listen. Like I'm being, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being humble right now because, like, Nino, know, like, as a manager, like, I'm, I'm an asshole. But it's check- like you come to show on time. You come in uniform. If you got a shirt, make sure you got that shirt on. You need to be there on time. You know what I'm saying? Don't post no shit that's gonna embarrass us. Pretty. You post some shit that's gonna embarrass us. You gonna have to like, which is Mama Key. Like, yeah, that's how she acts. She acting like Mama Key. But for real, I didn't play no games. Like, if you was missing a show, you better have like a real family emergency. So that's why I be saying, like, people don't want me to manage them. They probably used to want to be like, I'm about to, yeah, all right. You really feel me? be on your ass about Yeah, people don't want me to. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't want me to manage y'all. Just let me artist to y'all and let's do that. Like, because y'all don't want me to manage y'all. Yeah, that might but, be, because that, that's a, a lot of people like discipline. And what you bring in that, it'll definitely, uh, it'll definitely make a person decide if this is what they're really into, if this is what they're going to do or not. I agree. It's just, and then also, like, the market's different these days, too. Like, Fact. Now, like as a manager, um, it's not about like shows no more. It's different now, like because it ain't nowhere that you can really have like shows, like the shows that you need to have, unless you're paying money to open up for people. You get what I'm saying? So like the market these days is online. You, you know that me? was you gotta, that you was gotta the end. build that buzz mm-hmm. online. You gotta build that mm-hmm. online to mm-hmm. get, you gotta build your demand for, for sure. sure. You know that we was like at the ass end of the actual mm-hmm. physical CD era, like mm-hmm. us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That last little them years that you speak of, mm-hmm. that was the end of that style of being an independent artist where you could actually make some money off your shit. Like, no res- uh, respectful. Man. Yeah, so it's different these days. That's another thing, too. Like, it's different. And back then, I was like a learning animal. Anything that I was like, I don't know, I'm like, I got to learn. That's what makes me how I am today. But like these days... I don't even know if I got the time to learn every everything that done changed since I was a manager for sure. So let me let me ask you. So of course you spoke on why um, the Stay Solid Universal situation, us three, why it didn't keep moving. But mm-hmm. why didn't you pick back up with what you know to do uh, as like an independent videographer, it. like going back to you know what I mean? Why did you take a, a higher? <coughs> like why didn't I just do videography? Yeah, why didn't you continue to? Yeah, that was one of Stay my in the middle um, for you too. Because it ain't like the streets wouldn't fuck with you if you had a camera. Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest, like just like everybody else in the situation, I got spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have to shoot for nobody else to get my you my my glow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And I got spoiled in that. I got spoiled in being the manager. I got spoiled into not having to shoot for everybody. I got spoiled into that. And then like afterwards, I'm just like, I guess we just go back to regular life. And it felt normal for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we weren't doing what we was doing. So I got back involved with my ex. At, you know, that's my ex now. You know what I'm saying? And I got so wrapped up into that situation, even though it was the worst situation for, like, who I was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got so wrapped up in that situation. Like a dim your light type yeah, situation. Yeah, like, it was like, I don't think I was ever key in that situation. You know, like, who you know? Yeah. If you would have known me then, like, as your sister, you know what I'm saying? You would have yeah. been like, bruh. If you don't, hey, you damn near. for real. Like, so 
I, I ain't even see that light no more. I ain't mm. even see that shine no more. I didn't see being a videographer no more. I didn't even see it no more. What really, like, who and what really made you, like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just dive all in? Is it the fact that you got black, like, it, it like that's taking off, so it's like I might as well go ahead and dive in all of what I got going, you know what I'm saying? Um, so... Um, like I said, like when I had got out of my situation, it was like a pretty deep situation. And let's see, what is that? So cash, I would say cash because like he most definitely like got me out of my situation. He was like, nah, bro, it's time to go. Yeah. And I was homeless. I moved back in with my mama. I had his little boy. Um, ooh. Thinking about it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Hey, take your time though. Take your time. Um, and I came up with Black Billionaire. Um, because I said, oh. Come on with it. Yeah, come on. We got some tissue for the queen. Can we get some tissue? Mm. <clears throat> All right. I had said, like, I'll never be back in that position again. Never. Not yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Um, and, like, back then, like, I was staying with my mama. I had my son. Um, My ex had took my car. All type of stuff. So I was starting over from, like, Ground zero. Mm -hmm. And like shout out to shout out to Cash for sure because like I was like getting hotels to get out of my mama's house. And like he was going in on them. And he was carrying my heat my heat press up the steps. I'm talking about like at the Hawthorne, up the steps into the goddamn hotel so I could press hey, the church. And them, and them heat presses is You hear me? In a bitch. Like and he made sure like he got all my stuff up the steps, <laughs> all my stuff back to the car before I had to leave. All that stuff. And I'm telling you, like, he used to tell me for, like, years, like, man, drop Black Billionaire now. You know what I'm saying? Like, do it now. And this year, this year felt like it was the year to most definitely, thank you. Mm -hmm. This year felt like it was most definitely the year to, like, drop it. Like, I was going through some personal stuff, and it turned into, like, all right, you're going through some pain. You need to turn that into, like, go mode. And that's what I did, for sure. Like, it turned into, like, go mode. Um... Like I said, I did not expect for it to, like, do what it's doing, though. I didn't, ever. You know what I'm saying? Still, to this day, it throw me off. Like, I was telling Nino earlier, like, I had a, um, a phone conference with this um, billboard. I had a phone conference with this billboard company. Crazy. And, and this guy, he was like, what's the name of your business? And I had told him the name of my business. And he was able to run down my business to me. And I have never met this man a day in my life. Yeah. So you feel me? Like, sometimes I just be mind blown. Like, what? It did this? And then, like, like I said, like, back in the day, I used to be behind the scenes. I ain't have to do nothing. I made them do everything. Right. Go out there and be great, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go make us look good. <laughs> and now it's on me. Like, nah, yeah. you, you got to make you look good. You yeah. got to you gotta go out there and be great. So... I think tapping into that um, mode, it um, made me get into, like, all the other things I can do. And, like, most definitely, like, Nino and Cash, like, they both be telling me, like, every day, like, don't forget you can do this. And don't forget, like, they they just show, they been gave me that amp. I'm not even going to lie like that. Hey, nah, you her. But, like, these days, like, hearing them say that stuff over again now, and I be like, dang, I could really do that to make some money. So, they are my, like, biggest, like, motivation motivation people right now, like, for sure. Like, oh, tear. They stay, they stay in my ear, like, nah, you need to do this. Like, nah, you need to do that, so. Tear. That's what's up. For sure. So, oh, what, what, uh, <laughs> what are the plans so far for Black Billionaire? Like, you got it, you got some new upcoming ideas, you thinking about trying some things or so like right now we are working on like a um spring line summer line right now okay um a lot of people some people know like i'm doing like the crazy over things which is like a um, tribute to my cousin that passed away mm -hmm. um my cousin came up with it um and he reached out to me he was like hey can you make me something with this logo but i need you to redo the logo and it was so hard redoing this logo to try to make it look the same and the way that he wanted it to be but i was just sitting there doing it Okay. And I like pressed it on something and I'm like, nah, bro, we got to drop this. And he was like, go ahead and do it. So he most definitely put that in my hand. So I've been doing crazy overs um, lately. Like I said, I got like a girl group going on before like 13 to 18 year olds to, you know, try to keep teenage girls on the right track. Okay. Um, hey, before you keep going. The first time you said that you was about to do a girl no, group, I, I said she on some besties <laughs> child shit. She about to come was, out with the new school was, Spice Girls. I was thinking about um, <laughs> um butter. Ain't that the name oh, of the yeah. girl? 
thinking about butter. Yeah, so I just got like, you know, artist consultant. But like as far as like um black billionaire, like I'm just reaching out to businesses that wanna, you know, get a good image to them. So mm-hmm. a lot of people right. been reaching out to me to just like help them build their businesses. So that's been my thing. Like just most definitely like get some type of unity going. Like I ain't gonna say that I'm doing this stuff for free, but I ain't gonna charge you <laughs> arm and leg like everybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? So I launched my business, you feel me, on the cheaper side because I know I do everything. Like it ain't nothing. People be calling me like, I just paid for this and I'm like, I don't know why because I do that. But um I'm most definitely just gonna try to like pour into businesses. And, you know, get that extra support behind black businesses and let them know, like, you know, if we come together as unity, like, we can most definitely blow for sure. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so, listen, with success, we all know comes hate. <laughs> and you've experienced a, a significant amount of hate since you've started to do this. For example, on your clothing line launch night. For sure. <laughs> for it sure. went down. It did. <laughs> The irony of that situation. Uh, It's crazy. That's a whole nother story within itself. I'm not trying to get into specifics of it, but I bring this up because I want to know in these situations, in these instances in real time, because you got to know you have a whole situation going on. You got people in there. You got, you know what I'm saying? You there to provide a service and um, basically launch your, your brand. And at the same time, you have to deal with somebody Mm -hmm. like slander and shit like that. So what goes through your mind in real time? I'm be honest. At first, I was pissed. I was pissed. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was pissed. Like, but then after a while, I'm like, nah, you're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're doing something Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So I got into like the one mode. Like, all right, bro. Like, if that's how you feel, let's work together. And then, like, I ain't going to say too much, but you feel me? You can't be some type of way on the internet and be behind closed doors, you know, talking to my people. Like, tell her we can work together. Mm. Yeah, fuck all that. Let's put that out there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. Like, so, that's my thing. Like, because if people would have went about it in a different way, I would have got you a billboard. There's room out here. What the fuck? It's room out here. It's you room. know, get with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. I'm really not petty. I really don't do that bickering stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you feel me? I know who I am. And when you start hitting me with some, oh, yeah, we in competition, it's like, all right, well, let's compete. Moment of silence oh, for the man. competition. <sighs> and that's how we feel every day of the week. Oh, uh, but shoot, man, if you need somebody to model them clothes, no, you heard sure. me. No, for sure. Actually, that's, <laughs> a hey, good, that's a good point. How about your boy? I got a fashion show coming up, too. Like, I right. linked in with uh, Richie Smith from Columbus. I get my hair done and everything. And you I do got me? a fashion show coming up. And if you... you you can most definitely come. All like, right. you feel All me? Right. So. Man, your ass is right. a cap. Yeah, go. You want to put on a couple? What? I will if you want me to. For <laughs> sure. You talking about the, sure. the <laughs> freshest no nigga under the sun? The freshest nigga I, under I the sun? The model, though. He you going to hit the runway? They hate Black Jesus. He I'm not hating on no you, runway. baby. I'm, he hey. ain't never seen me in the pair of them Stacey Adams. Hey, listen, That's why you're talking like that. Listen. Boy, nah, I whoa, listen, that. Whoa, 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 don't pause. I call, I call you son, <laughs> not because you mine, but because you shine. So yeah, I actually do got a fashion show coming hey, up. Man, I can't I think to actually. I think it's like June 29th or something like that. Um, <coughs> but we've been like putting the details together for that too. So it's a couple people from the city that I reached out to, and we all gonna go out there together, and we gonna you know make it look some type of way for dating for sure. So I'm excited about that too. Shout sure. out to Richie Smith. He's for supposed sure. to be a guest on my pod sometime soon. He oh, told yeah, me, be a good one. yeah, he told me to slide out to Columbus to do his pod too. So for sure, I, that's gonna be on the that's um the on the agenda in the next couple weeks. But that was one. Of the first people out of town that really fucked with us that one way we had a little situation with um his brand mm-hmm. it, uh we promo mm-hmm. usa yeah so we was fucking with that was tough good, that was good yeah. i ain't gonna lie like that was one of the times like i was saying i just said this on uh i was just saying this to somebody a couple weeks ago like we used to like get on the road to go to columbus Remember, I used to have to like drop everybody off and then go to work. I was working at Waffle House, go to work. I used to be at work at seven o'clock. I was sleeping in the yeah. parking lot at six o'clock. That's when I pull up, go to sleep in the car, go work at Waffle House, get off, and we doing it again that I night. I don't know. Let's get to this though. <laughs> Do you remember when I worked that third shift job up oh there off of Needmore? God. I would leave my job and go yes. do a show in the yes. middle of the night yes. and go back to work. On some yes. Eminem shit. Yes. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> yes. We ain't. Boy, I, yeah, that's this tough. music shit hey, was like. That's tough. That was a good time. I ain't going to Well, y'all talking about that. I mean, we do it shows Fridays and Saturdays. You know, I, I'm a musician. 
I play drums, so I'm at church. <laughs> Hey, that's he done evolved. Yeah. He done evolved. Now, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. with me being a musician, a musician yeah. you know, I play drums. The I set. play drums. Different on the It's <laughs> different for the show. All right, I got a question. All right. Mm -hmm. So you say you do artist consulting. Mm -hmm. What comes with that? Like, what do, what so do you do? So I your think artists? my main goal with artists is to set them on the right path, and you got to go from there. Um, so all the baseline stuff, like all the, the ways that you should look, the things you should go about things and stuff like that. Like, um, I think it would be more so like when people, I, I think I want to go towards more towards projects and like setting the artists up to their first project for sure. Um, so they will come with me to, with their ideas, like what's their goals, you know, cause a lot of times people don't rap to get rich or I ain't gonna say everybody don't, but some people do it just for a hobby but they want to look good. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's just like my focus. Like you have to have that image. And I think I want to like work on people getting that image that they need. Cause I'm telling you like some stuff like y'all be killing me. So I know when I'm about to say this, y'all about to be like, who I know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know like it'd be a couple artists. Like I said, like I'll look at their stuff and I'll be like, I don't even listen to their music because of the way that they portray on Facebook. And I'm like, I ain't, or like when they artists and they do good music, but they got bad tempers. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you can't be that way. You you have to be, if you're going to be an artist and you want to make it, you got to be an artist all the way around the board. I ain't going to lie. With adulthood, no. you got to learn how to just be able to, like me and bro was talking earlier, life will serve you a big plate of shit and you got to sit there and mm -hmm. eat it like steak with a mm -hmm. smile on your face. For oh, sure. You know what I mean? So to get ahead in life, you got to know it, it's some bullshit that's going to come with it. For sure. And you can't always react off your emotions based off the shit. Like, you got to control that shit, man, because mm -hmm. one last shot of can tarnish mm -hmm. a lifetime or a heart. You know what I'm saying? You didn't put mm -hmm. so much time and effort into whatever, mm -hmm. and you, one last shot can fuck up everything. Don't nobody want to deal now with somebody. Now nobody don't want to deal with you. Don't nobody now you a liability. Don't nobody mm -hmm. want to deal with somebody that's going to fuck up the party. Talented mm -hmm. than a motherfucker. <laughs> now nobody don't want to invest in you. So now it's 10, you got to work 10 times harder mm. to try and get back because you had a, so always got to check self, man. Nah, for sure mm -hmm. you do. So I got to know, do you plan on picking the camera back up in any capacity? <clears throat> I don't know yet. For you feel me? It's growing for me every day. Every day is something else coming across my mind. Like my mind go a hundred miles per hour every day with ideas. Like you need to do this today. You need to do that. Like I say it's wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I take it as that because that's what I run by these days. Like, it's not like I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. When I drop Black Billionaires and want a plan, I dropped my, my launch date was literally psh, two weeks after I said I was going to have a launch date. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like I'm going to launch on this day. And then I linked up with somebody about a venue. You mm -hmm. feel me? Shout out to Crystal. I reached out to Crystal about a venue. And he told me, like, you feel me? I got the only Black venue on the block. And I'm like, oh, well, we got to do here. And he had like a date that was two weeks out. And I'm like, whoa, a whole lunch? You feel me? But some told me like, do it. So that's what I go by. Something be like my the wisdom. It'd be like, just do that. You're supposed to do this right now. So you need to sit down, research it, find out what you need to do next. And you need to do it. And it's been working out. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you I have a plan, which is one of my things with a lot of people. Like, you do need to know like yourself to know what you're supposed to do in life. It's like when it comes instinct. to business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got no and you got to yeah. and you got to have a plan for sure. But if you don't know how that plan going to work out, I'm telling you, you just got to have some type of wisdom. You feel me? Like just listen to like that intuition. Listen to it. You yeah. feel me? And just keep going cuz I'm telling you these days I'm just I'm just rolling. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you want me to do this? This is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? But it's like a list of things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them. But that one, you feel me? That's where I started. So it's kind of it's kind of near and dear to me. Like, you know, I want to do it. But I know, like, if I come back out doing videos, I'm going to have to Damn be man, that have one. to get you a team <laughs> at that point because... For sure. <laughs> you already got to leave your job to go place your black billionaire orders from time to time. You hear me? I'll be leaving work to go, hey, meet me right now because it's the only time you got <laughs> like to she, Like she's like, selling that shit. On that, uh, uh, Big was just here not a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he ran down like what his out, like he got like six businesses or whatever mm -hmm. going on. So he gave us some insight. So what is your 
daily like routine schedule like because he's saying like he probably he worked 16 20 hour shifts type shit based off between of between uh, between what he got going on this like so how what's it what's a day of key you know what I'm saying? A, what's on, on a off day or on a work day? Just on a on a on a on a on a on a every any, day. On a every day. So like I made my work schedule. Like I don't play about my business. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. My business comes first. I'll be looking for a reason to leave work. Oh, before you finish that, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> when, shit. when we go to when we start jobs mm-hmm. or when we like when we get a job and they ask us for our schedule, we tell them off the rip, hey, I cannot work on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, like, I made my schedule, like, Monday through Wednesday, you mm-hmm. feel me? Um, and I usually, I work 12-hour shifts. So, on my, on a regular day, you feel me, work day is different. That's why I said, like, work day, you feel me, I go to work. And most time these days, I'm working at work, and I'm a nurse. So, I'm, like, passing them meds out. Hey, take these meds. And I need to get back to the nursing station because somebody probably just hit my line about, you feel me, something that they need Some done or something yeah. like that. So, I'm in there on the nurse's computer, signing off meds, but looking at messages at the same time. Like, oh, y'all can call you on my break, or oh, I can do this, all I can do that, you feel me? It done became that much time consuming. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm waiting for my boss, sorry, if you know, if you watch it, oh well. <laughs> like, I'm waiting for my boss to walk past and be like, hey, I'll be like, hey, you, you feel me? You know what's gonna do it, though, I'm right? I'm out of here. You know what's gonna do it, but, right? Your boss gonna come, call you into, into their office, and then I'm like, on this med chart, you got an order for three hundred dollar. I mean, three hundred <laughs> blank shirts. What no, is, for real. What are you doing? Like, like, yeah, so for real. Like it just be that for me. Like and then on the on the uh, clothing thing, you probably didn't ask for some like some Percocets or no, some shit. No, for real. Like, like yeah, for sure. <laughs> like just being being crossed over like <laughs> yeah. that for sure. But like I like the I want to say on the off day because on the off day I'm truly me. Like you know what I'm saying. So like I said, most of the time I'm not even sleeping in past like seven eight. Eight is like sleeping for me. I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm up. I'm trying to get up before my kids get up. I'm going to be honest. And you feel me? I do my little my little coffee in the morning. I'm listening to motivational speeches. You know, um, I'm listening to all types of things. I barely watch TV. I barely watch TV. I used to be into TV a lot. I barely watch TV. My TV is running 24-7 motivational speeches and sermons and podcasts. And, like, I say, my kids going to be, they're going to be like, who the hell kids are you? Like, for real. Like, because that's what I listen to all day in my house. I listen to music sometimes, you feel me? But these days, with me trying to get more, like, um, grounded into myself, Mm -hmm. I've been listening to more stuff that I can learn from. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, Mm -hmm. um, if they ain't nobody in, like, you know, I cook them some little breakfast or whatever, and I try to journal. I journal every day. I try to journal twice a day. Um, like I said, like, I really, I'm not even going to get too much into, like, my spiritual journey because, you know, it could be so, you know, some type of way. But, um, like, spiritually, like, I'm probably, like, at my best, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I won't get so deep into, like, my spiritual journey. You know what I'm saying? But, like, spiritually, I'm probably at my best for sure, too. Like, so I journal. Um, I'm trying to get into meditating. Meditating, you feel me? They say your your mind got to be quiet. Mm-hmm. And I be med- meditating. My mind be going, whoop. Racing. Be like, come back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get into meditating. Um, but yeah, I'm the one girl to sage the house, open the windows. I believe in, you know, really like having your energies in line. Like if somebody throw me off, I'm like, eh. You know what I'm saying? Like, because these days I ain't got time for that. I have to like most definitely stay focused on what I got going on. Mm-hmm. And I know mm-hmm. and I learned recently like, even when things fall off track, like, just let it be. Because if it's meant to be, it's going to fall back. Mm-hmm. It's going to come back, but you got to stay focused on what you got going on. Respectfully. You got to stay focused on what you got going on. I'm telling you, like, you, most people, y'all probably know, like, I, ha- I had a situation where it came, my, um, I lost one of my sons, my first son. And it was, he turned five this year. And I went through a rough patch where I wasn't posting. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. And I noticed <coughs> the difference now. <coughs> rather than like you feel me if I would have stayed on that road mm-hmm. and while I'm beating up myself about it everybody like nah it's cool sometimes you gotta take a break so it's just like you most definitely see the difference when you take those breaks and stuff like that so um, it's just I don't know man it's a it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> cause everybody wants you to be perfect when you're a business owner people don't think about your personal life they don't give a fuck about mm-hmm. they don't care they don't care when that's you, a fact when you put yourself out there as a business owner Mm-hmm. And especially like one that's about unity and one that's about, you know, trying to heal the world some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you better not be unhealing. Mm-hmm. That part. You got to have tough skin. You better not ever. Shit. For sure. 
you can't you better not be unhealing because you ain't allowed to do that and i think it's different now because like when like i said i was in the background and i was making y'all do everything um mm-hmm. me being who i am now and i'd be like boy i ain't even get them in they props because I don't think was, I I don't think I I don't think I paid attention to y'all personal stuff okay. when I'm like nah you better make it to this show you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah for sure yeah, yeah so yeah I, I say that now like me being who I am now I ain't I most definitely didn't get y'all y'all prop when I'm like go 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 see and that artist life is different it man is. so let me ask you how many hours do you spend on Black Billionaire uh, through the week um. Man, I done started cutting out my sleep at this point. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Like, recently, I'm gonna say probably... I'm I'm gonna probably say, like, 16 hours out of, like, planning and everything. Like, Mm -hmm. I find myself sometimes, like, being, like, feeling bad. My kids young, so they don't understand the difference as long as they, like, with mommy, watching TV, we got some food. You know what I'm saying? Like... But I even feel bad sometimes, like, with that. I be like, they probably think I don't even be paying attention to them, even though they right here on my lap. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nah, I ain't gonna lie. As long as they around you, they, they yeah. know. But it be like, it it's, be... It's the it's the parents, for real, that <coughs> that's just absent completely. Yeah. yeah. And it be, that, it be that one moment where I just be on drive mode. And it be like, nah, I need to learn this now. Like, I'm gonna tell you, like, sometimes it can get up there. I mean, but you know what? You take the time to do it now, and you'll be able to appreciate that leisure time later. Yeah, like your business will start working for you. I remember, like, before I, like I took my little break, like, I was saying, oh, I need to post something. And I'd be looking on people's stories, and they post it for me, so I just share it for them. Like, they just throwing on the shirt, and I'm like, dang, hold on, let me just share that, because that's tight, and I wouldn't have to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing, too. Like, if you put in all that groundwork and that hard work at the beginning, mm-hmm. like, you your business will most definitely start working for you some days you'll be like all right i could take a break today you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so yeah that's true for sure all right um before we get to these topics is there anything that you would like to tell our viewership that you feel like could lead them down the road to success i would say most definitely the most important thing about finding your niche with your business like is finding yourself like people just be floating like and they just be like, I want to do this I want to do that I want to do this and I'm telling you like when you're doing that groundwork trying to like learn yourself etc like you will find like what you're supposed to do for the rest of your life yeah like you really will and it's probably not gonna be super profitable at first but if it's natural and it feels good and you feel like this is what truly makes you happy like just keep keep going you're going to have hard days. You're going to have good days. You're going to have days when people buy one thing. You're going to have days when people buy, like, 20 things. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have days where you're like, eh, I don't even think it's worth it no more. But, like, you have to, like, keep going. You have to find yourself. You have to stay balanced in everything that you do. Right. Like, find your balance. Stay balanced. And, you know, just just keep going for sure. Like, don't take your foot off the freaking gas. Don't I'm telling you, like this break I just took, wish I never took it because now I'm paying for it overtime. It's so much I should have been working on. So many orders I'm behind, all that. So keep right. put on the grass for sure. Consistency is key. For it sure. Is the key. For sure. No pun intended. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? I was wondering if you knew what you did there. Hey man, hey man, you, yeah. you seen what you I did, did there? there? Y'all ready? Y'all ready to do some topics? Let's, get Let's to go. It. 